Oh my gosh, these jeans must have shrunk. Hey, Orly. Hey, Angelina. All right, so stop whatever you're doing because I really think that we should do a collab upcycling jeans. Um, oh my gosh, I got the perfect pair right here. Oh my God, yes, me too. So I have a big stack of like huge men's jeans and I haven't known what to do with them, but I think this collab is the perfect excuse. I'm gonna turn it into like a crew neck tank top, incorporating all of the like inseams and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna get to work on mine, you get to work on yours, and then what, let's just touch base in a couple days? Wow, okay, okay. cool. Yay, I'm so bit. excited. All right, bye. Yes, I finally have a reason to cut up some more jeans. Today, I'm gonna give you four really cool ways to make those too small, too tight jeans fit just right. I'm starting off with these amazing button fly jeans that I thrifted like two videos ago. I can technically button them up, but they give me that muffin top look. So, what do you do if you wanna take jeans out just a bit and give yourself some breathing room? For these, I'm gonna use the snap sides of these Reebok basketball pants. And a big shout out to Rolanda in our Facebook group for giving me this idea. But before we start any of these, you'll wanna take your waist measurement and your hip measurement. And if you have bigger thighs, you may wanna have that measurement handy as well. Okay, first we'll take our jeans and cut them up to sides as close to the seams as possible. Then we'll take our basketball pants and cut up the sides next to the snaps. You'll cut about an inch bigger than whatever width you need to add to your jeans. And I actually cut more than an inch because I can always cut off more at the end. But once you cut too much, <laughs> that's it. So now to test the fit, I'll pin the stripes to the sides with safety pins. You can pin all the way down, but I'm just gonna pin in the waist and hip area because those areas are my biggest concern. Okay, so I have them on and I realize a few things. First, they're too big. So I wanna make my seam closer to the snaps. Secondly, I realize that I wanna sew the snaps closed at the waist and hips because I don't wanna bust out these bad boys. So I'll sew the snaps to the front side first. Then I'll pin the back side and try them on one more time. When I get the pins just right, I'll sew down the back side as well. And that's basically it. And of course, I'll show you all the final looks at the end. All right, so let's take this to the next level with an iconic brand matchup. I have these Levi's that I can get on, but I can't button them up at all. So I thrifted these Adidas windbreaker pants because of the elastic waist, and I need a little bit more room than the last pair, and the stripes on the side will make them fit perfectly. So just like the last pair, I'm gonna cut the jeans down the sides as close to the seams as possible. Then I cut about an inch from the stripes, but I do recommend that you cut more because it's always better to have some wiggle room and then you can cut away the excess at the end. And also, I cut away the mesh lining. But for these, I cut around the pocket because I wanna keep the pockets and the Adidas logo. And for these, I want the jeans top stitch right next to the Adidas stripes with the jean edges raw. So I'm gonna pin the front side down next to the stripes first. I'll sew down the top of the pocket. Then I'll sew the next section to the inside of the pocket. Then I'll top stitch the rest down next to the stripes. Now to sew that back side down and keep the raw jean in the front, I'm gonna fold under the fabric next to the stripe, leaving very little showing. Then I'll sew it to the jeans right in that small little line next to the stripe. Then I'll sew that extra pocket fabric to the jeans right at the waistband just to keep it in place. And lastly, I just have to expose that Adidas logo. So I'll cut the jean pocket short, fold it inside, and sew it closed. Next, I'll fill around for the logo and mark where it is. I'll then distress the jeans in that area to expose the logo. Okay, so next up, I still have a ton of jeans left over from that top I made a while back. And both of these are too small for me. So why not turn them into one pair that fits? So I'm gonna use the inside of the dark jeans and the outside of the light ones. This is especially where your measurements will come in handy. As you're cutting, just make sure to keep enough to fit your measurements, plus seam allowance. Don't forget seam allowance. Okay, so just like before, I'll sew my fronts together first. Then I'll pin up the back and try them on. Once again, I discovered something very important. This is how they'll look if I sew them all the way down. But I'm really loving them with a wider leg like this. So that means I'm gonna need some extra fabric. Two triangle pieces to be exact. 
I also discovered that they're too big. So I try them on inside out and adjust the pins to make them fit how I want. Then I'll sew them down to just below the pockets and measure for the size of the triangle pieces. Next, I'll take another pair of leftover jeans from that project and cut a triangle shape that size. Lastly, I'll sew that in. I actually ended up taking the back seam down a bit more and made the triangle shorter so that I didn't have that extra seam up the back. And I also kept that extra width from the pockets in the back and just stitched it down at the waistband because if I had cut it short and serged it, I would have had to sit on a hard seam. Okay, so lastly, we have yet another pair of Levi's that have, let's just say they shrink. So I was inspired by my mom because she actually added camouflage fabric to the side of some of her jeans and made them flare legs. So me being me, I'm always trying to think of a shortcut. So I thought, why not add a skirt to the sides? I was originally looking for a pleated skirt, but I found this flowy skirt and decided to go for it. So I'm gonna flow my skirt out as much as possible and then cut the amount of waistband that I need to add straight down so that I get two triangle shapes. Next, I'll cut my jeans straight up the side once again. And once again, I'll safety pin it together and try it on. For this one, I discovered that the type of fabric that the skirt is made out of won't give my jeans enough stability. And I didn't really want my leg to be able to step that far outside the jean leg part. So I decided to add some denim scrap strips within the seam. I added four strips on each side. Two were three and a half inches wide, one was four inches wide, and the bottom one was seven inches wide. So I just pinned them down and sewed them with the skirt part. And it worked. It gave them just the right amount of hold. So now it's time for the big reveal. The two snaps up jeans are really giving me 70s vibes and I am here for it. So I just had to throw on some chucks, striped socks, and this really cool tee courtesy of the Xena Blue Shop. And I'll definitely leave the link to the t-shirt in the description box. Now let's talk about this forced collaboration between Levi's and Adidas. With the added pocket on the side and the Adidas logo poking through, y'all. They were meant to be together. So I had to throw on this killer biker bodysuit underneath and I finally found a yellow blazer that I've been searching high and low for and for only $2, y'all. Strappy heels, yes, yes, and yes. And let's talk about the two too tight jeans. We did have to add pieces from another pair, but I think it was totally worth it. I love the two tone. I love the slight flare. I love the uneven hem and the split pockets in the front and the back. And they were really easy to dress up with this shimmery bow blouse and gold accessories. And the unique prize of the day goes to the flare outs. Since they're so unique, I decided to go with the neon trend for this one. And as you can see, those little scratch strips I added are doing the trick. They are definitely the standouts of the day. And if you don't like the jean part being longer than the skirt part, you can always cut yours even to make it look more like culottes. But of course, I'm extra, so yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but before you go flooding the thrift store for all the skinny girl jeans, nah, for real, go buy as many jeans as you wanna buy. And if one of those girls has the audacity to look at you like you can't fit those, look her dead in the face and say, they're just my size. Hey, Orly, how did it turn out? <laughs> it came out amazing. Look. No, I think I just hung up on Orly, but I don't want you guys to see it here. You have to go over to her channel to see what she did. It's amazing. Check the link in the description box so you can go and watch. And definitely, if you enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe and consider being a Team Renegade member. You'll get full step-by-step -step tutorials and behind-the-scenes footage. Click that join button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.